For the tiny tropical West African nation of the Gambia, the smiling coast of Africa, tourism is a way of life and a livelihood. The lush river Gambia, bird and wildlife sanctuaries, inviting beaches and healthy doses of Atlantic Ocean sunshine have attracted millions of visitors. The Gambia has traditionally been a popular destination for British and Northern European travelers, but now more and more Southern Europeans, especially Spaniards, are discovering the smiling coast of Africa. The Gambia Tourism Board's Marketing Committee Chairman and General Manager of the Senegambia Hotel, Buname Ninje, says that his office is encouraging Spaniards to visit during the green season from May to October. In Gambia, unfortunately for us, it's, um, it may rain hard, but it does not last for more than one hour. And if it does, you know, after the rain, everything is green, everything is fresh, and uh, you couldn't possibly have a better experience. The Sandale Eco Retreat and Learning Center is an example of the kind of sustainable ecotourism that Spaniards are especially attracted to. It is located three kilometers from the village of Khartoum and covers an area of 25 hectares of tropical forest and a vast secluded beach. Further north along the Atlantic coast is the bustling and colorful Tanji fishing village where visitors can watch the catch of the day being hauled ashore and then sold or smoked and dried for export. A trip across the mouth of the river Gambia by ferry from Banju to Bara is a bit chaotic, but also an unforgettable experience providing a window to the colorful hustle and bustle of Gambian traders and commuters. From Bara is a short drive to Albreda, a former French trading post that is today home to a museum dedicated to the slave trade. It is also a quick boat trip from Albreda to one of mankind's most tragic episodes. This island is oh, what now is called Kundakindi Island. Yeah. We changed the name to Kundakindi from the 6th of February 2011. The island is a former slave fortress and holding area for human cargo captured on both banks of the river Gambia. Every two weeks, like clockwork, slave ships heading to the Americas would pack the half-starved men and women aboard and carry them across the Atlantic. The island was made famous by Alex Haley's best-selling novel, Roots, and it is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Needless to say, present-day Gambia has a wide range of accommodations to meet all needs. The general manager of Nagala Lodge, Jari Bertanen, understands that many people unfamiliar with this part of the world have concerns. Normally, when we're discussing about Africa, people are a little bit afraid. But I can tell to you that this country is totally safe. Unfounded fears of an Ebola outbreak that never arrived to the Gambia and an unusual drought last year sparked an economic crisis in the Gambia. They are serious hardships that would have deflated the morale of many. But for some reason, the smiling coast of Africa keeps on smiling.